Good morning, my YouTube friends and family. We are back on another beautiful day here in Western Maryland. It is the end of May, and we uh, just got done with the Memorial Day holiday. Uh, quite an honor, quite a blessing to uh, live in this nation. I hope you took the time to reflect on the sacrifices our young men and women have made in the defense of our nation. So, chicken house build, it is finally done. This was a very, very long process for us. A uh, couple wires here, a couple wires there, week after week, and uh, actually I think we started this thing probably three or four months ago. So, it is done. We're going to take you on a quick tour of uh, what all we did to build it and the end result. And uh, stick around, I'll see you at the end. concrete nice and loose that way it's self-leveling poured in holes all right here we go we're gonna see what we can get done here had to walk around for about a half hour look for all my tools and fittings and nut drivers and everything else I'll show you this is what we're gonna put in each uh, end of the rafter just hold it in I'm not gonna worry about uh, any kind of hurricane clips uh, even though it's gonna get crazy windy uh, this is kind of a test we're gonna see if this thing will blow away but uh, we're gonna stick a five inch screw in the end of each one see if we split them out and uh, see how it goes I got my middle son out here today we are going to try to get some metal on this chicken house so this is some uh, scrap metal that I had uh, from the roof replacement uh, years and years and years ago never throw anything away um, so we cut these uh, panels down uh, eight foot what we needed and then we just went through and uh, pre-drilled the holes in the metal that way uh, kind of makes it easier when you're up there trying to get the uh, trying to get the metal on screwed on it's a pain in the butt sometimes to uh, I can't even find my screw holes there they are bright shiny metal um, so I put the uh, purlins there at four foot on center that's a eight foot roof and uh, we're not going to be up there walking around it's a chicken house so uh, we're just going to run uh, two screws in each purlin and uh, 
be done with it. So let's get her going. Well, I forgot uh, I put a 12 inch overhang on both sides, so I needed one more piece. Lost my helper, so the rest is on me. Plus, I didn't pre drill the hole, so it made it a lot harder. To the front we go. Don't forget to pre-drill your panels. Done. Gotta get some ridge vent on it and uh, that'll be uh, watertight. Alright, time to work on these bird boxes. I had to get some tools. a rabbit's favorite type of music hip-hop bang how's that for a difference it is uh, cloudy out here now so uh, let's try to get some uh, boards on here That's a wrap. We're gonna call it a night. Little buddy's not used to work until dark. All right, so here we are getting ready to wrap up this uh, chicken house build. Man, what a process. It was uh, quite a long time. We had uh, hundreds of other things going on. Not hundreds, but you know what I'm saying. This is uh, it's about done. I gotta get this fence attached to the side. Uh, of the chicken house there is an opening uh, down in there so uh, we got the uh, door pool here uh, hooked up and it's just a rope that is uh, let me uh, take you off this thing here that's just a rope pull down underneath of uh, there we go uh, to pull up that uh, door and that's what closes it so 
we got a little uh, pool pool tab up there uh, the doors they're just blocks of wood with self-closing hinges and then you just uh, that's a cheap little closer uh, we got some hardware cloth half by half around the bottom uh, got our board and battens on hi baby love hi, honey. we're uh, headed down the stretch with the uh, chicken house so uh, I got to put some doors on here one by 12s there uh, we got a big door open up here to clean on the back open that up baby love show them how it is and that's just a uh, little block and <laughs> uh, so we put linoleum in the bottom just for uh, ease of cleaning this was a little cheap piece of linoleum uh, we got our bird boxes in there uh, that middle piece is a storage area eventually we're gonna get uh, some outside doors put on that just so uh, we can keep BS stuff in there but uh, put hardware cloth on all the windows uh, and then we put uh, hardware cloth at the top in the eave uh, for ventilation and that'll stay open all the time the windows are hinged we'll pull them and we got the hardware cloth on the front and the back pretty simple little thing board and batten was most time consuming and then I did put some uh, expanding foam along the top there and along the top of the bird boxes just to keep out the draft for in the winter but uh, yeah there you go getting ready to wrap this up we're going to pull the gate off the bottom and of course we just covered the seam with the batten strip and uh, put a plug on it there all right there you go well there you go chicken house four by eight uh made out of a bunch of scrap material we did buy a piece of linoleum we bought some hinges for the doors um not a whole lot of stuff that we bought it was just stuff that we had laying around in the compound uh put it to good use so uh if you like the content please share and uh, subscribe we are up to over 300 subscribers uh thank you very much it is greatly appreciated and as always don't forget to smile because god loves you